Good morning. It is a beautiful spring morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. This is a day where I have on the calendar to begin planting. I've got a lot of pots and a lot of beds that need plants. Went out to the nursery this weekend and bought just a whole bunch of them to start putting in the ground. But I have a problem. The problem is I have a weed problem. I've got beds that I allowed to fill up with weeds over the course of the winter. And as a result, I've got some pruning and some weeding to do before I can put those plants in the ground. So what's the problem with weeds? Well, they take over the space where we want to plant the good plants. For instance, they start to become invasive. And while we might have planted good plants that are going to grow and thrive, as the weeds take over and as they multiply, they take the air, they take the soil, they take the resources that are necessary for the good plants to grow and ultimately they choke them out. So what we have to do is remove those weeds from the ground in order to create soil that will allow the good plants to grow. You know, it's not just soil and plants where this happens. It's our lives where this happens as well. We allow weeds to grow in the soil where good things are supposed to grow. James talks about this. He says, first of all, get rid of all the filth and evil that is in your lives and then make room for the word that God has planted in your hearts because it has the power to save your souls. There's no room for the word to come into our hearts if we allow the weeds of filth and evil to grow. Sometimes the weeds don't look like filth and evil in the beginning. Jesus tells the parable of the tares, where the wheat and the tares are planted at the same time and they look almost identical until they ripen. And then you can see that the good wheat has been invaded by the bad weeds. And Jesus says at that point, there's nothing you can do until wait till the harvest and then separate them and kill the weeds at that time. He talks about the parable of the sower where you plant seeds in all kinds of different soil. One of the soils he mentions is the soil with the thorns, weeds. And when you plant good seed in soil that has weeds in it, it'll try to grow, but it gets choked out, and then ultimately that seed won't grow. So we now have the opportunity in this springtime of our life to think about how we're going to make room for the good seed to grow in our lives. We have to remove the weeds. Now that may be distractions. That may be things that look good on the surface that initially don't look like they're bad, but they're taking the place of the Word of God. So we have to remove those things, create good soil where the Word can be planted, where it can be watered, and where it can grow. This season, as you are beginning to prepare for the summertime, as you are putting your gardens together and your yards together, think about your own lives. Think about the soil and the weeds, and think about how you can eliminate those bad things and make room for the Word of God. I've got some work to do planning today. Have a great week.